MobileDetailForYou.com for all your auto, boat, and RV detailing needs. All right, today's detail is a Mercedes Blue Tech SUV. And I'm just doing a quick wash here to get off any road grime, any heavy grit or dirt. I've actually already went over and soaked everything. This is just the final rinse using an electric pressure washer, which is a light duty, low pressure. It's really more just of an efficient rinse. Here's the clay bar surface preparation bar I'm going to use. It is by Meguiar's. Here I am doing my first portion of this hood just to see the condition of what I'm getting off. That's a spray bottle of water with a little tiny bit of car wash soap in it for lubricant. And here's what I found on this paint. You can see that red tint now on that white clay bar. That's actually red paint overspray that occurred to this vehicle. This job started out as a complete detail and quickly turned into an overspray, excuse me, overspray removal process first. So with all of our complete details, we do clay bar vehicles to get off any surface contaminants, fallout, rust, overspray if we find it, um, tar and road debris, any other contaminants that may be on the paint. This car, you couldn't see the overspray on it because it was such a fine mist, but there was definitely a significant amount of it as it was showing up pretty heavy on this clay as I was going through and clay barring. So the deal with clay barring is you wanna just start in a section, work a defined area, make sure to follow the lines of the car, um, whether it be the edge of a hood, the hood or fender edge that meets one another. You don't wanna go across those lines, you always wanna follow the lines and that way you don't get clay bar stuck in those edges but also so you get complete coverage of the area you're trying to work also you got to watch out for any emblems any trim to make sure that you're not again getting clay bar stuck in those things because a lot of those things will catch the clay and kind of stick in there normally i do like to stop on or excuse me start on the top of the vehicle um, I did the hood first just as a sample to figure out what I was working with and then I jumped right up to the top area to do that and then work my way around the rest of the vehicle. This vehicle we had done last, it's been overdue, so it was probably three or four years ago we did this last. Um, the owner came out and commented throughout the process how it hasn't looked that good since we were there last. And then later on in the evening, as I was finishing up, he said, uh, wow, I don't know if it looked this good new, which is the typical comment we get when we clay bar and then apply a sealant to the outside and then also the thorough cleaning we do inside. Again, this process that I'm showing here is just going to be the clay bar process. We do everything from the paint to the chrome to the glass all the way down and just make sure any debris or overspray or other surface contaminants are gone. And then to finish up this job, we apply a polymer-based sealant using an orbital polisher if it's a vehicle that's in this good of shape, which I think this vehicle is like six years old maybe. So fairly new car, um, and it's garaged all the time. So pretty good shape overall. It's uh, if you'd like to have your vehicle done, please feel free to get a hold of us through the comments or um, click on our channel information and you should be able to see our website, mobiledetailforyou.com link. Just click on that. It'll bring you right to our website. You can fill out a form and we can come out and take care of your vehicle as well. If you're looking to get training or help or buy products, uh, feel free to contact me or miss message me and we can do the same. One other thing I wanted to point out on this vehicle, this does have a clear bra or 3M uh, paint protection film right here on the front that I'm doing. The same thing is done to maintain those as paint, um, both the clay bar process and the wax 
polymer sealant that will help maintain the 3M paint protection film, which we also offer that as well. Um, that particular service is not a mobile service. We need to have you bring your vehicle into our shops and we install it in a uh, dirt-free environment. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions on how you can do this yourself or again, have us do it for you, feel free to get a hold of us and we'd be happy to help you out. Peace.